We continue our team coverage now with Sophia Beausoleil. Sophia, you spoke with Deputy Constable Greenwood's nephew about today's development. What did he say? Hi, good evening. Well, you know, his nephew says they don't know who William Kenny is, and they believe that if it wasn't their uncle, it would have been another peace officer. Now, over my shoulder, you can see the blue thin flag. This is in honor of Clint Greenwood, a reminder of what happened last week. But tonight, they have a little bit of closure. I know it happened, but it just sometimes it doesn't seem real. Andrew Smith is still trying to grasp the fact that his uncle, Assistant Chief Deputy Greenwood, is no longer here. But today his family got a little bit of closure as they learned the name of the suspect who turned their lives upside down. He killed somebody. He doesn't deserve to live in my book. Baytown police say 64-year-old William Kenny shot and killed Greenwood. Surveillance video throughout the city helped investigators find the suspect who had killed himself 24 hours after killing the Assistant Chief Deputy. I'm glad he's dead. I mean... So he doesn't do harm to anybody else. Greenwood's co-workers at the Harris County Precinct 3 Constable's office say when they watched today's press conference, they had some closure. I know that when it was released, we were all gathered around. We were all hugging each other, had our hands around each other. And as soon as it was announced, I could hear Greenwood's voice in the back of my head saying, all right, now get back to work, which is what he would have wanted. Andrew says even though his uncle's death is still tough, his aunt, the deputy's wife, has some relief. She's just grateful that a trial is not going to come into play. I mean, there's probably a sense of closure. And Greenwood's nephew says he thanks the community for all the well wishes. He says that they do still need some financial help. He set up a GoFundMe page for his aunt and her children. You can go to our website, click2houston.com, to find that link. Reporting live from Fort Bend County, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.